focus of today's video is to create this simple website with as few lines of code as possible and as quickly as possible and ensure it is responsive. We will go step by step. First, the header element, then the hero section, followed by the content section, and finally, the footer section. For that, start by creating a header element. Then add an element for the logo, inside which add logo image. Next add a right element for the right half of the header. Inside which add some anchor tags for the options in the header, make some tags as primary tags, which will have different styling. This is the HTML structure for the header, now we will style it. Start by styling the header element, by setting its width to 100% and height to 75 pixels, and apply a background color. Next align its children horizontally at corners using display flex, and justify content to space between. Then apply a padding, and make sure to apply box sizing to border box to avoid overflow by padding. Then set the width of the logo image. Next style the right element by setting its children to center using display flex. Then style the anchor tags of the right element by setting their text decoration to none, set their font properties as shown, and providing a margin of 15 pixels to the left and right. Then add a hover effect for the anchor tags by setting a solid border of 0.5 mm at the bottom. We also have a primary link tag, which should have different styling. Style the primary link tag by setting the background and text colors, provide a padding as shown, and apply a border radius of 5 mm. Here is the primary link tag. Also add a hover effect for the primary link tag by changing the text and background colors, and setting border to none. We have our simple header ready. Next we will create the hero section. Start by creating a hero element. Next create the left and right elements of the hero section. Inside the hero left element, create a title element. Inside which add the line elements with the text to display as the heading of the page. Below the title element, add a caption element to display some caption or subtitle. Below the caption element, add a links element, inside which add some anchor tags to display as buttons. As we have previously styled the primary tag, this tag has got styling applied. Next add an image inside the hero right element as shown. This the HTML structure for the hero section. Now style the hero element by setting its width and height. Then set its children side by side using display flex and justify content to space between. Make sure to set flex wrap property to wrap, which will help in responsiveness. Then set a padding of 5% to left and right, and apply box sizing to border box. Next set flex grow property to 1 for the hero left element. We can see the width of the left and right hero elements. Then style the title element by setting its font properties and providing a margin of 20 pixels at top and bottom. Next style the caption element by setting its font properties and providing a margin at the bottom. Then style the links element by setting its width to 100% and aligning its children to mid left using display flex and justify content to left. We can see that the width of the links element is 100% of its parent element. Next style the anchor tags of the links element by setting text decoration to none and font properties as shown. Then set a solid border of 0.5 mm, apply border radius of 5 mm and set padding as shown. We can see that styling of the primary link tag has changed. Fix it by styling the primary tag inside the links element by setting color to white, border to none and providing a right margin of 20 pixels. Then adjust the width of the right side image. We have our hero section ready. Now we will create a content section for it. Start by creating a content element. Inside which create a box element. Then create the left and right elements for the box. Inside the box left element add an image for the content. We can see the image here. Inside the box right element add a box title. Here is the title. Then add a box description element to display with some text or description. This is the HTML structure for the content element. Now style the content element by setting its width to 100% and min height to 90%. Then place its children to center using display grid.
Next style the box element by setting its width to 80%, applying a background color, and aligning its children side by side using display flex. Make sure to set flex wrap property to wrap, it will provide responsiveness. We can see how the description shifted to bottom as soon as we have set flex wrap property. Next apply border radius of 5 mm, set padding of 30 pixels, and box sizing to border box. Next apply similar styling for both the box left and right elements by setting flex property to 1, which will allow the elements to automatically arrange in the available width, then apply padding, and box sizing to border box. We can see how the box elements got arranged in the available space, and when the width is too small it automatically wraps to bottom. Next adjust the width of the left side image and apply a border radius of 5 mm. Next place the boxes left and right children to center using display grid. Next style the box right element by setting its font family and text color. Then style the box title element by setting some font properties and margin bottom. Next set its width to 100% which will align the title to left. We can see the width of the title element. Next style the box description element by setting its width to 100%, font size to 14 pixels, and text aligned to justify. We have our content element ready. Now we will create the footer. Start by creating a footer element. Inside which add footer left and right elements. Inside the footer left element add an image for the logo as shown. Below the image, add some anchor tags for the links in the footer. We can see the link tags here. Next add some text to the footer left. I have added copyright text. This is the HTML structure for the footer. Now style the footer by setting its width to 100%, apply a background color, and align its children horizontally at corners using display flex and justify content to space between. Make sure to mention the flex wrap property to wrap. Then set a padding and box sizing to border box. Next adjust the width of the footer image and set a margin right of 30 pixels. Then align the children of the footer left to vertically center using display flex. Finally style the link tags of the footer by setting text decoration none, set its font properties and a margin of 10 pixels to the left and right of links. We can apply the same styling to the footer right text also. Here is the entire website. We can see that the website is not fully responsive yet, so we will make it responsive. For that we will use two media queries. First one is when the screen width is less than 1000 pixels, then set the font size of title element to 5 view width. Focus on changing the units from pixels to view width. We can see that the font size is being changed when the screen width is reduced. Similarly set the width of the hero right image also in view width units. We can see how the image width changes as the screen size changes. Similarly adjust the font size of the caption element and link tags, also adjust the padding of link tags. We can see how the hero section is getting resized based on the screen width, but this trick works well up to certain width only, so we need to use second media query, that is when the screen size is less than 700 pixels, then style the title element by changing the font size to 45 pixels, and text align to center. Next hide the hero right element. Then style the caption element and hero link tags by setting their font size and padding. Next place the children of the hero left element to center using the display grid. The width of the links element is 100% because of which the anchor tags did not move to the center. Fix it by setting justify content to center for the links element. Reduce the padding of the header. Also reduce the margin and font size of the link tags of the header. Resize the width of the header logo. Next focus on the content section. Resize the width of the image of the content section. Then reduce the font size of the title of the content section. And finally change the flex direction to column to the footer element. You have your responsive website ready. This time we have used a simple header, but you might have more options in your header. So check out this video to implement a responsive header.